factors that you believe will influence the future growth of the modern coin market? Yeah. Um, okay. So um, it's no secret that in today's world, um, what we have is a global economy. Uh, it isn't, at least I don't look at things the way I would have even 10 years ago, certainly 20 years ago, uh, where we kind of look at uh, uh, the United States as the market. Um, and if you so happen to venture outside of that, good for you, but we don't need it. Well, everything's changed. The, the internet has changed everything. Uh, and it, it really is a global market and a global economy. And the same is true um, for modern coins and for precious metals. So where we see, we see, still see tremendous opportunity for significant growth uh, domestically, but we also see um, uh, an immeasurable amount of growth potential for uh, sales to come from other countries. And we've focused in on that um, pretty intensely. And early on, uh, we were one of the first, even it taking into account the largest companies out there, to begin shipping worldwide. Um, and we're very experienced at it at this point. <clears throat> we offer shipping to uh, over 70 different countries around the world. And we've actually shipped to and have customers in about 40 of those 70 countries. So looking forward, I only see that uh, getting bigger and better and continuing to grow. So I would say that uh, a large part of the future growth for modern coins and precious metals for dealers that reside here in the United States is going to come from international. And what about the use of social media as a way to reach a marketplace? It's almost become a given at this point. I mean, um, when was the last time you went to uh, a coin-related website or any website at that point that didn't have a Facebook and a Twitter button for you to push? So uh, it has its place, and it has extreme value. Uh, and we like to use Facebook in particular as a way to keep things fun, which is another way that we try to distinguish ourselves from some of our competitors. Um, our website um, doesn't have the look and feel of a brokerage account. Um, you know, we're, we're serious about what we do and we can handle any size transaction, but we want it to be fun. So uh, part of making it fun involves um, having a strong social media presence. And we focus in mainly on Facebook, although we, we do some other things there as well. Uh, we've been shocked, quite frankly, at how well we've done with Facebook with minimal effort um, to promote it. Uh, I, I don't know exactly, but I, I'd say if you went back, I'm gonna say maybe 18 months, uh, when I think we, we were jumping up and down around the office because we had a thousand likes. Well, uh, we're creeping up on 30,000 now. And uh, they're, they're legitimate likes. And I have to mention that because, you know, getting back to what I mentioned earlier about being able to create an image, which anyone can do in this day and age, the same is true with social media. Uh, you can actually go out and purchase likes uh, just to get that count up there and give the appearance to the potential customer that, hey, this is a big company. Well, um, everything we've done has been earned. We haven't tried to take any shortcuts. Social media is, is really important. And uh, particularly, uh, the younger demographic is, is the most engaged. Um, and, and perhaps uh, middle-aged, too. Uh, and it's just not something you can ignore. It's here to stay, and um, I think it's a good thing.